Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little bit of coloring in this Stressless Animals coloring book. I haven't done one of these in a while. So I don't want to do one that's going to take too, too long. These usually tend to take like an hour or more. I did skim through the book and I saw one, uh, I think it's this dog, yes. So, a lot of the times they seem like they're going to be, um, like quick to do, but then you start doing it and you realize it's not. But I think this, uh, dog is going to be fairly, um, fast to do in comparison, especially with all the other designs that they have there. So... I have my color pencils. I'm going to start with this green slash blue. These are double sided. And um, I'm going to do these little areas right here. I'm going to alternate green and blue. Um, yeah, so this side, yep, this side would just be green. And that side will be blue. And I'm going to do the same thing here. So all of this is going to be green. These color pencils aren't that bad actually I got these when I got this book I can't remember when I got this book sometime um, it was months ago last year sometime and I got both of them from Dollar Tree and uh, the color pencils aren't too bad actually it's Prang Prong I don't know dual color one color pencils they're not too bad for Dollar Tree color pencils. I'm using this blue. This blue is very pretty. It almost has a purple tinge to it, like maybe a purple undertone slightly. Very pretty. So I don't do these often because, to be honest, I've said this before, like my wrist, it starts hurting my wrist. I hold my pencils really tight. Even when I don't hold them too tight, it just strains my hand and my wrist. So I don't do them too often because that's not very like stress relieving, right? Coloring and having pain in your hand. Which is interesting because when I pull, um, my wrist never hurts. I always do like wrist exercises and stretch before I pull. And uh, afterwards, my wrist never hurts. Never feel sore or pain while I'm pulling or anything like that. So it's very interesting when I color. It's like a little bit harsh on my wrist. Okay, so that's pretty. Look at these little flowers on there. I'm going to make those yellow. At least it looks like flowers. It can be something else. I'm not going to make it um, 
two colors. We're just going to go ahead and make it yellow. That's it. I'm not sure. I guess it's supposed to be shadow. Why it's dark like that. See these, these legs here. And I'm going to use this orange and yellow pencil. And I'm going to do this orange, yellow, these and these. So I'm going to make this orange and those inside triangles I will make yellow. So if you want to really get crazy and like be here for hours and you can alternate the colors. I never do that. Especially if I'm making a video. It's very time consuming. I don't want to keep you guys here for like two hours. It's very time consuming. But you know you can do that. Alternate the colors of each stripe. But I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna do this yellow. I'm going to alternate here though, so I'm going to figure out where to alternate because some are going this way, some are going this way. So, alright, so this, all of these going this way are going to be yellow, and then all the other ones going the other way are going to be orange. Um, yeah, see, there's really not a... I don't know, I think th these were kind of done randomly, it looks like. I'm gonna sharpen my, my yellow. See, cause some, well, maybe they weren't done randomly. These have a lot, but down here, this only has a few little lines. Same thing here. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And then the others, I'm gonna do orange. Let me see if I'm gonna do any other. I'm definitely gonna do these, the same color. And you see this here, the same color. So we're gonna do those orange and yellow as well. Every time I do these things, I get really indecisive at times. All right. So this is going to be orange as well. I've always written hard like I remember and I always I used to write so much I used to be a crazy writer you know you're in class and your teacher tells you to write a two paragraph you know little mini essay or whatever it has to be minimum two paragraphs or you could just write only two paragraphs and I would just write two three pages like it would be like non-stop couldn't stop writing <laughs> And I always wrote so hard. I would I would always get a little bump right here because the pencil would always just like because I would just be like like I couldn't stop writing. I'm still the same way now, still the same way. But um, I don't really write much stories and things now. But I can write. <laughs> I could write novels, okay? And of course, it's not going to be the neatest. So we're just going to alternate here between orange and yellow. That's cute. 
So the little dots here, I think I'll make red. We'll keep it in that color, you know, that color area scheme. Reds and yellows and oranges. So I have this red. So these little dots here, I'm just gonna I am not going to bother going like this. <laughs> We're just going to color it right in. That's just that's just easier. That's cute. Okay, so now that I have the orange and red, the orange and pink in my hand, let me see what else I can do orange and pink. There's no more designs like this. So I'm going to do his body because it has um, flowers, orange and pink. Before I do that, really quick, I'm going to do this design. And these little polka dots, red. Like the that up there. So because these, all of these in here are orange and red, I'm going to make these, I mean orange and yellow. I'm going to make it orange and yellow as well. So let's see. This is like this. And we'll put orange here. I think I am going to add more orange in this. Let's see. Actually, I'm not because then the orange is going to connect in here. I don't want that. All right, so never mind that. Here, let's do these little leaves here green. Well, it looks like little leaves. And the flowers, I think, uh, hmm. let's think about that. Because I was thinking of putting this area right here red and pink. But I've done that before and the red and pink look similar. So it doesn't like, it's not a contrast, you know. Um, so I'm not going to do red and pink together in here. The flowers, I'm going to do... Um, I think I'm going to do the flowers. <laughs> Here comes the indecisiveness. This is what we'll do. We'll alternate. Pink and red. For the flowers. But the background. I'm going to have to do that a different color. Other than pink, red, or green. I was thinking yellow, but I also don't want this to blend in with that. So we're not going to do yellow. Okay. So here's the pink. See how the pink is kind of similar to the red? Like it, it doesn't give too much of a contrast. So... I don't really want to put them together too much. Um, I'm going to do the background. No idea. <laughs> no idea. Let's skip that for right now. And let's move on to these little circle or oval type things here. And I'm going to make green. I'm going to add some green there. And um, I'm going to, I'm not going to alternate. I'm going to make all of these green. And 
And in um, this part right here, I'm gonna add some blue. I have a baby blue. So I'm kind of limited with colors. I have 12 colors, but then I have black and white, which I really don't use much. And then I also have um, a brown. And I wanted to incorporate the brown somehow because it is a dog, but I kind of don't want to. It's, it's ugly. It's going to look ugly. All right, so I'm going to do that here. Right here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add these little... Do I want to? <laughs> I'm going to add these... I feel like it looks similar, so I was going to do them the same color. But we won't do that for right now. Let's do what I said I was going to do, which is this blue here. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do these little dots here. Blue? This baby blue? Or some other color? Uh, Y'all, I have been having a bad toothache and I know I need to get some work done on a tooth that I have. And I've been kind of like prolonging it. But now is the time I'm going to have to go um, and get that work done. I'm just going to do that blue. I kind of don't like this another color. Yeah, I'm going to have to go in and get this work done on my teeth. Well, tooth. Um, so if next week, if you don't see any, well, if you don't, if I don't upload any videos chewing gum, you know why. Or I will try to pre-record some videos. But, uh, if there's no videos with gum choy next week, that is because I've had to get some work done at the dentist. But I'll keep you guys updated anyway. I know some people may not watch this video or you may not have watched it, watch it all the way through. At this point, I'm just gonna do whatever. It's, it's whatever. I don't really like this color scheme, but I think I say that with every one of these colorings I do and I really don't. <laughs> I want more. I need to get a bigger variety of colors. And I keep on forgetting, y'all. I keep on forgetting. And every time I'm in Dollar Tree, I go in that area. I go in like... Well, for one, I go in every aisle in Dollar Tree. You just never know what you might find. But I always go in the little school section where they have notebooks and things like that. And I actually went to Dollar Tree today. I didn't have anything in mind I needed to get specifically. I just decided to stop in there. It didn't look too crowded. I wanted to see what they had changed from last week. And y'all, that Dollar Tree was horrendous. They either are very understaffed, which I feel like every Dollar Tree is understaffed. Even though they have a crazy amount of people of traffic coming in there daily because everything's a dollar. And they always have just one register, like one person just dying up there, <laughs> taking every single customer like back to back to back. It's like every under um every Dollar Tree is understaffed, but my Dollar Tree has been doing great. I've been saying that. 
And today it looked a wreck in there. It's like nobody had did anything the weekend. And it wasn't crowded in there either. It was just a wreck, a, a real wreck. Boxes. Um, it's so funny though, because there'll be boxes in the aisles that the workers haven't opened yet, but the customers will open it. <laughs> the customers will sure open it. Like there were boxes of peeps. It's not even, uh, it's not even February yet. And they got boxes of peeps in there. That's Easter stuff. And sure enough, them boxes were open. I think the staff sometimes just leave boxes and they're just like, whatever, the customers are going to come in and open these up. And if they want it, they want it. It's not like it costs something different. Everything's a dollar. I think that's what they do. But it was a wreck. Um, this was the first time in a long time that I went to Dollar Tree and did not spend more than $20. I think I spent maybe $12, $13. And again, I didn't go in there for anything specific. I just went in there, you know, see what they had. And it was actually like a struggle to even get the items that I got. I walked around several times and then I actually remembered that I needed paper towel. So I got some paper towel. Also remembered I needed some batteries, some double A batteries. Got a few packs, like yeah, two or three packs. I bought some LED lights actually last week from Dollar Tree. Um, some Valentine's Day ones, and they take, you know, they take a uh, battery. So I had to get batteries. And I actually have Rechargeable batteries. I have a few sets of them But I need them for other things so I had to get um, Why well, use them kind of rotate them and use them for other things so I had to get batteries and What else did I get? I really don't remember what else I got I was also looking to see if they had like these Starbucks drinks that they've been having in there. Actually, not Starbucks drinks. They've been having monster coffee drinks. They didn't have it though. Um, of course, I look for some puzzle books. They just have not so great selection. I think I'm going to go check on Amazon and see if they have like themed puzzle books. Um, themed word find puzzle books so uh, yeah I really can't remember what else I got from Dollar Tree hmm. oh I did get some Epsom salt it was like an Epsom salt pack a little mini pack I have Epsom salt in my house already, but this one looked really, um, really good and I wanted to try it. So I got that. But they have Valentine's Day things up and those aisles just look, they just look sad already. <laughs> They really do look sad already. Last week I got some things from Valentine's Day. I got a few LED string lights. I got something for my door actually, which I put up already. I got some heart decor to put around my house. And sure enough, when I went back in there today, all of the things that I had bought last week, they did not have any more of. So I'm glad I bought it when I did.
I was doing this because I kind of don't want to do the eyelids dark. Um, but yeah, that Dollar Tree was a mess. Okay, hold on. Oops. This is blue. Have I been using purple or blue? This is purple. The blue looks very similar though. Let me see. Yeah, it looks very similar. This is the purple. This is blue. I can't even tell right now. So I'm going to do what color? I think I'm going to do the green. I have two different greens actually, I think. I do. It's just this green is like a yellow green, so it's lighter. I'm not quite sure how it's going to come out. I know my dog looks a mess. It's all, it's all right. No, I'm gonna do this um, yellow. I want this yellow here. It doesn't look as much lighter, just a tinge lighter than this. Okay. I'm also gonna do these little dots in here yellow. Just give me like a little pop of color. I'm not too fond of this design. It's kind of ugly. It's kind of ugly. All right, I'm doing yellow in here too, I decided. Just to give it like some little random pops of color. Like brighter color at least throughout the drawing. I'm going to definitely look on Amazon though tonight for a new word find book. See if I can find anything cool. And also some crayons or markers. I am so sick of the same 12 colors. So technically it's not even 12. It's like 10 because I, or nine, because I don't use the black, white, and I usually don't use the brown either. So I'm tired of these same nine colors. See that nice, it's, it brightened it up a little bit right here. All right, I think that's it, I think I'm done. As always, not the, the best job, not the neatest job. If I wasn't recording, I probably would take three hours doing one of these because I would just be so, like, very, very specific. And my face would be, like, right up here so I can make sure I don't miss a little spot. But I can't have you guys here for three hours. I like this color. This is the blue. It looks kind of purplish a little. Okay. Whoops.
I do want to darken the face, but that's all right. We will, we will leave it. What we're going to do is... Oh, my phone had died, so I don't know. Today's date, I was trying to see today's date, is 1-4. One, 1-5. Four. One, five. Four, five, six. <laughs> oh, no. What is today's date? I think it's the 6th. We're just going to put six. I don't know if it's a six or not. My phone died, so I can't even see the date. But um, that's it. I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for listening to me just ramble about absolutely nothing. <laughs> to be honest, sometimes it feels great to just talk about absolutely nothing of importance. Okay. I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. And thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I will see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.